Book 51A, Pete the Cat and the Bad Banana. Pete the Cat is eating a banana. Pete loves bananas. They are sweet and tasty and easy to peel. Every morning, Pete puts a banana in his cereal. Sometimes Pete puts a banana on his peanut butter sandwich. But one day, Pete eats a bad banana. The banana is gross. The banana is mushy. The banana is yucky. Pete's tummy hurts. I will not eat bananas again, Pete tells his mom. Pete's mom tries to help. She bakes Pete's favorite banana bread. Pete will not touch it. She makes Pete a banana cream pie. Pete will not eat it. She gets Pete a big banana split. No thanks, Pete says. Instead, Pete tries a lemon. It is yellow like a banana. Pete tastes it. Yuck, says Pete. The lemon is sour. Pete tries a pickle. It is long like a banana. Pete tastes it. Better, Pete says, but not as good as a banana. Pete tries an orange. It has to be peeled like a banana. The orange is sweet, but it is too juicy. It makes Pete's paws sticky. Pete tries fish, plums, rice, hot dogs, watermelon, and his mom's nut bread. Pete eats them all. He is not hungry for bananas anymore. Then comes the big race. What should Pete have for breakfast? A pickle? No, Pete doesn't eat pickles for breakfast. A hot dog? No, Pete just had a hot dog for dinner last night. A lemon? No, that's just silly. Pete wants a banana. They're yummy and healthy. Bananas are the best. Do you have another banana? Pete asks. Of course, says Greg the monkey. Pete peels the banana slowly. It is not brown. It is not mushy. Pete takes a teeny tiny bite. It is a yummy banana. It is the best banana ever. Thanks to Greg and his banana, Pete wins the race. Pete is bananas for bananas.